Hey, I'm Paul, and welcome to another Precious Plastic video. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a mix workspace. Mix workspaces are great for experimentation, education, and generally starting off in the world of plastic recycling. If your goal is to recycle a lot of plastic, maybe check out some of our other workspaces. If this is the workspace for you, there are a few things to think about before you start to build. First, it's good to have a team. Having someone to share the tasks with can make the work a lot more fun. Second, how much space do you need? The space we're using here is roughly five by eight meters, but depending on which machines you choose and how you arrange them, your needs may differ. What's important is to make sure that you have enough space to move around freely with all of your machines and tools. And third, what kind of power do you need? Some machines run on single phase, others on three phase, so be sure to check the specs of your machine when choosing your space. So your team's assembled and you found your space, now it's time to build. For the mix workspace, we're using the original precious plastic machines because they're inexpensive, easy to build, and a good starting point. You can mix and match the machines based on your own needs. Okay, you've got your machines, now you need plastic. It's important to separate your plastics based on type, so we recommend using large sorting bags or some other kind of container to keep everything organized. And make sure to label your bags so that everything goes to the right place. It's good to further sort your plastic based on color before shredding so that you have more control over the appearance of your products in the end. Your plastic sorted, now it's time to shred. When shredding, you'll need a container to catch the plastic as it falls. It's nice to shred directly into standardized containers that you can store right after shredding. This eliminates the step of pouring the plastic from one container to another and helps keep your plastic more pure. When your container's full, remove it from the shredder and store it on the shelf. To turn your plastic into something useful, you'll need molds. Check out the how-tos to learn about all the different ways that you can make molds. Regardless of which method you choose, it's nice to have a designated storage space where you can keep them to access them when needed. When you heat up your machines, you might notice some fumes. There are a few ways you can address this, the simplest being to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area. You can also wear a filter mask. And then use a filter caddy. Check out the safety video to learn about how to operate the machine safely. While your machine heats up, prepare your plastic for the machine. It's nice to set up a mixing station where you can weigh out ratios and experiment with different color combinations that you and your customers like. The machine's hot and your plastic's mixed. Now it's time to put it into the machine. Nice to have a workstation where you can demold and finish your products once they come out of the machine. When your product's ready, put it on display for visitors to see. Last but not least, it's time to put some finishing touches on the workspace. We've made some posters that you can hang on your wall and plants help bring the space to life. This workspace is meant to be a starting point to help you think through the various elements of your workspace as you plan. Check out our container video for even more inspiration. Your needs will vary depending on your context, so don't be afraid to adapt these plans as necessary to suit you best. And since building a workspace takes time, 
We recommend starting with the basics and building out from there as you begin to see what suits your workflow. For everything you need to start this workspace, check out the download kit and watch the next video to see how this workspace fits in the precious plastic universe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next precious plastic video. Wait, 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 before you go, just want to let you know that Precious Plastic runs on the support of people just like you. Everything we publish is open source online for free so that everyone in the world can start tackling the plastic waste problem. If you'd like to support us, please go to support.preciousplastic.com where you can make a small donation or find out another way to help. Thanks a lot.